the Native Instruments Drummer series, whether it's Studio Drummer, Vintage Drummer, 70s Drummer, uh, Modern Drummer, so on and so forth, they all come with a bunch of MIDI grooves here. And one of the questions I see asked all the time is you might call up a groove here. Let's just call this one up, grab it and hit play. Great, sounds good. Now I want another groove, this one here. Okay, great, but how do I actually structure this in my DAW, meaning how do I get the MIDI out of here into my DAW, which in my case is, is uh, Pro Tools. So I grab it and try to pull it over and this isn't working. So again, I see this question all the time. Well, it's actually right up here. This is where you want to drag your MIDI from, okay? So we'll call it this groove here, check it out. Sounds good. And now we want to put it in our DAW. So now you see this icon right here, this almost like a compass icon, this active groove. This shows us at the active groove and we simply grab it right here, drag it over and look at that. Well, you can see in Pro Tools there, then just drop it. There we go. There is, there is our MIDI in our DAW, in our case, Pro Tools. Bring this over. Very cool. So that is how you get the MIDI out of whatever drummer series you happen to be working with. And, and they are all the same, by the way. So here we have 70s drummer up here. We have studio drummer. Here's 70s drummer is exactly the same. Go to the grooves page, check out some grooves here. Maybe this one. Okay. Say we like that. Just drag it right over, drop it. And there you go. So that is how you do that. That answers that question. Now I'm going to show you another way you can actually utilize this MIDI and not just with whatever it came with. So in this case, say 70s drummer or studio drummer, we can utilize this MIDI with any drumming program, whether it's superior or BFD three or easy drummer or strike or whatever. Okay. Very cool. But first I just wanted to look a little bit at the MIDI just so you know how they are named. So here we can see 16th that lets us know it's 16th notes. Okay, hat, that's basically what's going to be keeping the time. Here we have ride, that's gonna be keeping the time. Then sometimes you'll have the word like both. All right, so here we have hat, both, and we also have ghost notes. Some of these are multi again. That is all explained in this PDF here. So our available grooves, you see fourth, eighth, sixteenth. So that's of course our note divisions, hat, ride, or other. This is the instrument that is keeping the time of the groove, right? Close, open, or both. So is a hi-hat open, is it close? Are we using both? And then we have extras, so that could be ghost or side or toms, and then percussion, obviously, and multi. So if more than one of the above sounds or techniques is used, then the term at the end will be multi to represent multiple types, okay? And you can find all of this uh, very easily in wherever you happen to install your drummer series to the actual library. So if we wanted to do studio drummer, we'll just come down here to studio drummer right here. Here is all of your documentation, all right? Now I just want to show you one other thing we can do with this. Let's just... Let's go up here actually. So we'll go with our Abbey Road series, say modern drummer. We don't even have modern drummer loaded up in here. And that's what I want to show you. You can actually utilize this MIDI without even opening contact, without loading studio drummer, without loading, you know, seven inch drummer, whatever, whatever the case may be. You don't even have to load them up and you can still get to that MIDI. How do you do that? Well, this is sort of a workaround, sort of a hack here that we can do. So we don't even have Abbey modern road drummer open. We can still get to the MIDI again. Right here where we have the library installed, just pop in there, MIDI files, and choose your kit, say new metal, and right here we can see all of our MIDI. These are actual MIDI files, okay? So these are the exact MIDI files that are read in here whenever we come to grooves, okay? All right, so that is also how you can utilize your MIDI without even opening contact or even loading up one of the drummer series instruments. All right, so let's just let me close this down. Get rid of that MIDI there, pull this back. Let's open this back up. Just want to show you this. And again, you want to, of course, pay attention. You can see this is 88 beats per minute. We're on 120 here. Sometimes when pulling in MIDI or using MIDI at a different tempo, it may not sound as good. I'm not, I'm not saying you distort MIDI or, or you degrade MIDI. MIDI, of course, is just simply just instructions. It's not nearly the same as audio. Speeding up, slowing down audio can definitely leave you with some artifacts. What I'm saying about MIDI is if something is 88 beats per minute, it may not sound good at you know, 200 beats per minute, just because of, of timing issues. But of course you can always, you know, you can always try it out. So in order to drag in MIDI from our file browser, same thing, just grab it, drop it right into Pro Tools in our case, and look at this. Cool. And because it's MIDI, it's, we can change the, uh, the tempo very easily. There we go. Great.
Maybe we'll want uh, 200 BPM. Doesn't sound that great. That's just my opinion. All right. Cool, but as I mentioned up top, we can actually use this MIDI with any other drumming program uh, that we want. So we already have BFD3 loaded up down here. We can use this MIDI with BFD3. Now, of course, BFD3 comes with tons of grooves and there is actually other ways you can import MIDI into BFD3. All right, but I wanna show you this technique here, this really, really easy uh, technique. So we have BFD3 loaded here. All right, and I have a dark skin applied to this, which is why it looks uh, the way it does there. Cool. All right, so I'll just take this MIDI here and if it's already on a track, I'll just drop it down here to BFD3. Now watch this. Now it's playing through BFD3. Now it doesn't sound quite right. Uh, you know, the mapping is off and that is an issue you'll definitely have to take note of, but you can use this MIDI with absolutely any drumming program that you want. Just take note of the mapping, okay? So here's another groove. Maybe we want this for BFD3, throw it in there. Let me pop it open so you can actually see that it is indeed working. Right? Of course it doesn't sound like it should, it should sound like this. Okay. So what you can do there, which I should probably show you this as well, let's pop back into contact. And I wanna show you this MIDI mapping that we have within contact here. All right, so we can come down to options here and you can see our MIDI mapping right here. Preset is on default. So we'll just take this groove right here and I'll just drop it right in the Pro Tools. Take a look at that. Now let me change the MIDI mapping, put it onto say BFD3. Now I'm gonna grab this MIDI and drop it in and you can see that it is indeed mapped differently. Okay, I just wanna show you this here. So I'll just play this. That's the default. And that's the BFD, so it's a little bit different. Okay, so let me just drag this one down into BFD3. That was the default for contact for a studio drummer. Well, now we'll pull down this one here that was supposed to be mapped to BFD3. Again, still not quite right. I'm just showing you this because BFD3 has its own mapping, okay? So we'll come in here and this is gonna be dependent on whatever you know, drum application you happen to be using. All right, so we'll go to the key map in this case and we can actually load up a key map right here under file and load a key map. So we can go through here and find whatever we want. Maybe we want uh, this one here, load that up. Let's see if that works for this. Not quite, what I found is general MIDI seems to work usually seems to work for the native instrument stuff. So we'll just grab that one, load that one up. Try this. There we go. Okay, so of course, all this is gonna be dependent on your key map in both apps and however you happen to pull them out. Okay, so we'll just try this one. As you see, it works, but not quite as well as whenever we mapped it to BFD first and then put BFD3 into the general MIDI key map. So let's go ahead and pull in some more here. Let's say something from right here. I'll just grab one and throw it right down to BFD3 and hear that. So now it's working just fine. And that's because we switched over BFD3 to use that general MIDI key map, okay? And you can always map things individually uh, and manually here in BFD3 as well. And that's pretty much the same for superior Easy Drummer, Slate, and what have you, whatever the case may be. All right, so that is how you actually utilize the MIDI that is included with all of the different drummer programs. Just keep in mind whatever your MIDI mapping is within Studio Drummer, okay? And whenever you wanna pull out those grooves, say you find a groove that you like, right? Then to drag it out, we don't drag it from here, that doesn't work, we drag it from up here. It actually doesn't have to be from this icon, you can drag it over here as well. Okay, and drag it right in just like that. And of course, you can drag it in right from your file browser as well. Just head over to wherever you happen to install the library for whatever drummer series you want to use. Pop in there, pop right into your MIDI files and just drag it in to your DAW. Let's get in here to this one. Throw it right in there. There we go, we had it. BFD3 playing at the same time there. Let's mute that. 
All right, awesome. So that is a couple ways that you can utilize MIDI within the Drummer series, whether it's Studio Drummer, Abbey Drummer, whatever the case may be for you, they are all exactly the same. You can always drag in those groove files right up here. Just drag them right into your DAW from this area up here. You can also drag them in from your file browser, wherever you happen to install the library to just pop into the MIDI files folder there. And you can of course use the MIDI from any of the drummer programs, not just with the drummer program. So Studio Drummer, 7H Drummer, you can use it with any drumming program that you want. In our case, we use BFD3, but it's exactly the same for any other drumming program, whether it's Superior, Easy Drummer, Strike, whatever the case may be. All right, so that is some ways to use the MIDI included with the Native Instruments Drummers series. Just remember, because I see this question all the time, call up your groove, whatever your groove happens to be, and you drag it in from this area right here. That's how you drag it in and structure out your track, okay? And of course, you have that little hack that I showed you where you can drag it in right from your file system as well. Ba-boom.